Hi, how y'all doing today? We're out here at the Hitchman Homestead and we're gonna put the finishing touches on the, the wagon. Uh, the previous setup videos, we put it into the stationary place where we want it to be. Now we're gonna put on our bar shelves. Um, when this is in travel mode, these wheels are lifted up so this shelf comes off. And so to place the shelves, the bar shelves, just hook over the lip and put them in place. This client got a kegerator, but that's removable if it gets in your way. It's got a custom tap made. And we've got our bar stools. So we'll put those in place. Everything is sealed with three coats of Olympic uh, penetrating sealer. And uh, it's good for up to Three years they say but I think every two years uh, if you just get a little Hudson spray <coughs> off your refrigerator or your, your steel that your, your kegerator uh, but we've shot the whole thing just sprayed it all down including the sink counter and even the canopy so that'll just give it a longer life so we're gonna set up this other side here same thing now that these are down just go in. And there's one shelf labeled door. It just has a little more play to fit over the hinges. And the door shelf is set up to set outside for a bar. Same with the opposite shelf. Or you could move it inside if you wanted more service area. So we'll set that up. Bring over a couple of bar stools. And we'll come back to our pantry. Uh, let me show you the, well, I'll show you the blue box in a minute. So the pantry, we have pots and pans hooks. And the pots and pans can stay on when you put the pantry down. When you lift the pantry, you want to grab it by the handle, just so you don't pinch your fingers in there. We'll set up a couple more bar stools around our pantry. Now the bar stools are made to be work best on a flat surface. They've all been leveled on my workshop table. Uh, just make sure that they're secure so that nobody tips over after a few too many. On the on the uh, the table base, we have leveling feet. So you can just unscrew this. Now this one's pretty extreme, so I would put a plywood pad under it. It has up to two inches of play, but we're in a little bit of a divot here. Um, so I'm not gonna set that for this purposes of this video. Uh, on the boot box, we have additional storage for your pots and pans. It has a latch that comes down, additional storage got a keg blanket and our co2 system for this client we have a power strip here it's labeled it is not gfci protected so whatever you plug into and code requires most new homes or newer homes to have all their outdoor outlets are gfci protected just make sure you plug it into a gfci protected outlet um, up here in the pantry We've got our three drawer boxes that are fully removable. They're deep enough to handle standard barbecue utensils. We have additional cargo space storage up top for whatever you'd like. We've got some wine glasses that we're going to go inside and hang. The door will open with this shelf out to 90 degrees. Inside, we have wine storage hangers and then we have these custom drawers for your low balls or any glass glass or silverware that you don't want getting dusty that you would use in the service cockpit area here these are self-closing drawers and then this is deeper for champagne flutes or additional uh, glass storage or whatever you see fit uh, on the sink side got a cutting board that's included with this package 
and it's set up to uh, attach to a garden hose. It's hard to see, but there's a fitting right here, and the hose is included with this package, and you just do a, a we use an RV hose that is uh, rated for drinkable water. Plug that in right there, and then it comes with a flat hose drain that we drain off to a near planter. Uh, just hook it up and you're, you're ready to go. The faucet swivels out of the way if you are doing your, your cutting or prepping. And it also turns to the side if you wanted to use it for a drinking fountain or fill something up or leave it out of the way while you're working and, and just use it like that. Uh, this seat uh, is decorative. It's meant to be a service shelf. Uh, you can put your hors d'oeuvres out here or a service plate for the people that are sitting at the footrest and eating uh, on the cargo seat. Uh, if you have kids, it can hold up to about 150 pounds. If somebody wants a photo op, we have these spacers that are not visually offensive but you want to be sure to put these spacers in that gives it extra support you still don't want to wiggle around you still don't want to do anything but take a picture but then we've had two adults up here i wouldn't recommend it um, but it is stable it's more decorative but it's fun to take a couple of personal fun shots on. Uh, we've got, in this package, our client wanted additional wine storage. Now the whole wagon is set up uh, in the previous video to be on, on the surface that we have here. If you needed to move it just a little bit to mow underneath it, you don't, although it's highly recommended, unless you're on a concrete patio, you could just take this temporary spacer and put it in here and then pick it with the dolly. Uh, but if you take it to a place that's not as level, you're going to fight the door and it's recommended just take the 10 extra minutes and lift the door and bolt the frame. But that is an extra option. Other than that, we have storage drawers underneath, the junk drawers, again fully removable, and then we have one that we keep all of our travel blocks in. There's an additional set of travel blocks. If you like where it's at and it's just going to live on your patio, we recommend putting these under the rear axle so that if your tires get low on air, the wagon doesn't sit to one side or, or not. Uh, but again, for maintenance, periodically check the pneumatic tires that are located under the boot box and make sure that they're at 45 or 50 PSI. Other than that, that's our chuck wagon. Feel free to load it up, decorate it. Uh, we recommend lanterns. They have really cool LED lanterns. Uh, you can hang ropes all over it. You can make it however you want. Uh, yeah, and, and we have a, a dinner bell set up too. The old cowboy dinner bell. Uh, not shown in these pictures. but uh, Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.